Hello, and welcome to this Super Auto Pets test server video. Uh, this was recorded before the uh, release for the test server that was done yesterday. Um, so there, there's a couple of changes there, but it looks like they're starting to settle down into the um, uh, into the final release for what's going to be going to live server. Uh, so two of the big changes I noticed in this update were um, the chicken got majorly reworked like the early on into the test server there was um, some pretty, pretty big changes to where uh, give future shop pets of the same tier plus one attack and plus one health um, which was very interesting you still sort of got 50 50 shop but like only for that one tier so chicken was still very strong uh, made it a little bit more selective but it was very strong uh, but what they changed it to is give future shop pets permanent plus one plus one when it faints. Which in puppy pack is pretty rough, I, I gotta say. I think it's pretty well balanced for custom packs where you can use um, mushroom in order to double up the amount of buffs that will happen. But it, it's a little bit rough for, for just puppy pack. Um, and then also the cat was changed. Um, it was, they had already put a trigger limit on earlier on so that it's uh, three times per turn, but they dropped it down to two times per turn. So food builds are majorly nerfed in, uh, this update coming up. So, uh, the days are numbered. <laughs> Anyways, uh, to talk about the actual gameplay here, uh, I wanted to do like a little bit of stuff with um, some toys for early game. Uh, I was using this beetle and then it's like, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the raccoon. It's pretty good. Um, I think they moved it up from tier two to tier three, uh, but raccoon's ability is just very good. Um, what I wanted to do in this run was try out that new chicken. Uh, it's you know, again, it's a little bit rough since we're just in puppy pack here. Uh, but then I was also like, okay, we got raccoon. Let's try and do axolotl raccoon scaling and, and see how that works out. Um, yeah. Wanted to get this bat in here for a little bit of weakness. Weakness is a very strong ability. And even with stealing the garlic, it's not enough. I think if we hadn't stolen the garlic, we actually would have been fine. And I'm not really interested in either of these here. Uh, Gariel? Uh, I, I need to learn how to say some of, like, that one's tar, but Gariel, how, how, how do you pronounce this one? Uh, and I'm still learning the different toys, so that's why I'm cycling through these toys here. Uh, but yeah, we, we have two runs in this video today. Uh, that, that's why I said first run earlier. So uh, I think the beetle's ability being honey, meat bone, uh, garlic, it's kind of interesting. And I, I think the devs, like there's a little bit of uh, an identity, cri not an identity crisis, but there's, there's this thing where like, they had a bunch of pets that had unique abilities at each level and it's like oh that's really cool to, to have it sort of be unique and like incentivize wanting to go for the higher levels but then they changed a bunch of those into like oh here here's 8 16 24 right but now they're kind of going back on that like i, I don't know it's it's interesting how they kind of go back and forth on themselves with the um, uh, some of the core ideals is what it feels like anyway. <laughs> Level two, uh, raccoon, and it's just like, nah, I'm not thoroughly interested in either of these tier sixes. Go ahead and roll past. Uh, I probably should have dropped the moth for the sauropod. But here's the chicken. Uh, I already had in mind the chicken uh, for 
uh, you know, trying to get this buffing going. And with its low stats, I was going to put the chicken at the back, but it's like, wait, in order to get the shop buff, I, I need to have it near the front. Which is, which is another downside of the chicken. So we, we, we have the chicken that needs to faint. We have the weasel that needs to faint. Um, weasel, right? For gold? Uh, the, we're going to start getting to a point, it feels like sometimes, where we're vying to have one thing at the front based upon what like the important thing is. I'm not saying that's bad, it's just going to be interesting like trying to do um team place placement try it try and get like the optimal setup uh probably should have had this axolotl at the back a two three in the middle of the pack why, why? <laughs> especially if somebody had a toy gun you know I thought the axolotl was going to buff itself there, which is why I double checked, but it says friends and not friendly pets. <laughs> so it doesn't do self buff. Go ahead and throw a melon on. Better than a meat bone at this point, and also it provides buffs. Yeah, throw that throw it, flying squirrel to the front if there's, uh, well, no, it, 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 I moved it to the front because I was worried about chili, but it probably would have been fine because the raccoon would have stolen it then. Um, we lost, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> on to our second run. Um, in this run, I focus pretty heavily on a toy build. Um, I... I hadn't really played with the toy build at all. I've seen some videos of it, but it, it, it's, it's pretty fun, like, synergy. Uh, I I have to admit, in the first test server video I did, I was hating on it. I kind of get it now. Um, I, I, I still don't think it's the best synergy, and the, the flying squirrel, the, the new flying squirrel, with um, being able to revive the toys makes it considerably better. Um, before it's like, well, you have to buy, sell these pets and you can't keep them around. Like, once you get a tier three to, to win, you don't want to keep the pet around, but it, it's still decent, you know? We find an early raccoon again, so it's like, yeah, we're going for it. <laughs> So, Beluga Sturgeon is this shark-looking thing. Uh, and here's the change they made. Uh, I, I'm fine with this change. Uh, the, the extra gold or the 2.33, both of those upgrades suck, honestly. But this one, while I would prefer, obviously, to have the two level twos provide a level up, we get to choose which upgrade we want. Um, so we're, we're getting to see four pets and choose two instead of three. And then maybe I don't even want the pets, you know? So I, I think it's a fine balancing act to make it so that combining two level twos don't provide uh, the upgrade. I don't know why I saved off this uh, Beluga Surgeon. It is not very good. <laughs> but I see a potential for the Beluga Sturgeon level three with the mole. Uh, Beluga Sturgeon would have like three dolphins with rice. The mole, when it dies, takes the rice off of those dolphins. And then you get a, a big mole afterwards. So I, I see that being an interesting uh, pet, you know? Or an interesting synergy. Google Bird's really good. I I, uh, I didn't talk about it much in the past, but I, I think it's like four damage? Is it four damage to two pets? 
and here we go with mosasaurus so here's heavily leaning into the toy synergy so whenever a toy breaks it's like plus six plus six is that right or is it plus three plus three to two pets uh one pet on either side Thinking of getting the Gario for, uh, what's it called? The, yeah, so it's plus three, plus three to the two pets. So it's plus six, plus six total. Uh, and double Mosasaurus. I probably should have sold. No, I wanted, I wanted this toy to break. That's right. to allow these buffs to go off. There we go. I lost my train of thought, to be perfectly honest, but uh, Gariel's going to provide a bunch of melons, uh, and the Flying Squirrel's going to just keep buffing that out, uh, or uh, keep keep reviving the toy in order to uh, have more pets have it. Probably should have gone Octopus. And another Mosasaurus. So yeah, we're set. We win. <laughs> Mosasaurus is sort of like the glue, I'd say, that holds together. Uh, Mosasaurus and Flying Squirrel. Those two pets kind of glue together and hold together the, the toy synergy. And we get another Mosasaurus from the Anglerfish purchase. <laughs> Don't need another flying squirrel. Like, flying squirrel. Uh, okay, so th th there's some pets that's like, okay, there's a, a, a sloth, sloth. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there, there was a sloth in my run, which was very cool to see. Sorry, anyways. Uh, <laughs> there's. Uh, there's some pets that, like, getting a level two pet is really good and then like level three is diminishing returns there's other pets where it's like there is no point to getting a level two or a level three like other than searching for another uh pet in the shop you know like getting the level up uh search basically Squir flying squirrel is one of those it is plus one attack plus two attack plus three attack <laughs> when the toy breaks which is really not worth And here I see Lionfish. It's like, okay, we have a ton of buffing going on. Let's go ahead and try out new Lionfish. Uh, they nerfed it from seven rock damage to four, I think it was. But it's still, like, that, that makes it a little bit less overpowered. But it's, it's still really good. It's still really, really good. Another lionfish and four, eight, twelve. Puma is another good one for for the toy synergy, um, specifically with the level six toys for like providing coconut armor and stuff like that. I, I think that um, like. You get a level two Puma and you get a level three toy and that just covers the whole field, right? Apparently Eagle, uh, so I I saw the eagle roll past, and that's why I'm thinking of this, but apparently eagle was changed so that it's like always a consistent amount of attack and health. I seem to remember somebody saying that before, right? I don't know why I didn't save the other lionfish. <laughs> Oh, 
draw at nine. Oh, it, it was because I was searching for the last Mosasaurus level up in case we lost or drew. Um, and, and we drew, so... <laughs> going to be a really great perk to have um it, it it just makes it so uh so first we have a level 50 not level 50 we have a level 3 50 48 um lionfish that that'll get its full uh perk off and that that's going to be really strong um anyway skewer is going to be an excellent um perk to have for helping break through melon armor and, and coconut armor and stuff like that. It'll be it'll be really great, I think. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, got the win. Um, I, I'm, like, I was sort of pessimistic about stuff early on, but I'm really excited for this pack, um, the, this rework. Uh, I, I look forward to it coming out on the live server and uh, maybe in addition to the weekly pack challenge, we do some uh, achievement hunting. Yeah. Take care, everyone. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, friends.